Let's talk about your movie that I know you saw, Game of Thrones. That's not a movie, bro. I mean, show. show. Where, no, I, dog, I see, that's why you should jump ahead. I'm talking about two, two different things. That's why you should jump ahead. You should lead narration to me, bro. Lead narration. <laughs> that's why so you should movie, jump ahead. Avengers Endgame. You know that's what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, yeah. Show Game of Thrones. Yeah. Well, no, I saw um, Avengers Endgame. So you ain't got a chance to see it yet? Or you, no, are I, haven't you, seen, I haven't seen it yet. Are you up on any Marvel movies at all? Uh, Yeah, I'm up on all the Marvel movies, except for this one. So oh yo, so you do? Yeah, I watch Marvel movies. I okay, you know what's up, dog? Cause I ain't gonna front, dog. It's hard to tell with you, bro. Cause sometimes the most popular stuff you be like looking at be clueless. So sometimes no, I gotta watch. Just cause I don't like Game of Thrones. No, bro. There's been other stuff I've asked you about. You you looked Game at me like Thrones. you ain't know what the hell I was talking about. Okay, so are you interested? Did you see Infinity War? No, I didn't see it. How, bro? Well, I might have seen it. I might have seen so, it. Dog, there's no way where you might have seen it. You'd have known you saw Infinity War, bro. There's no way. Everybody well, no, walked I out of that saw, movie I saw theater. Infinity War. I saw Avengers Infinity War. How did Infinity War end, yeah, bro? That's the one I had on um, Spider-Man and everybody. How did it end? Just answer the question. How, how, did, it how did it end? With um the guy who um who lost his arm, I forgot his name from Captain America. He comes back in the end and they say, um, they say they tell you um Black Panther will reappear or something like that. Bro, I'm talking about Infinity War. How did Infinity War end? I just told you. No, you didn't. You said guy lost arm and then something, something, something. Look, man, I can't remember. You got me on the spot. Because you ain't see it. I did you, see it. You did not see it I at all. I saw it. You did not see it at all. Because everybody knows how Infinity War ended. I saw you it. You know, ask a bum off the street and they can tell you how Infinity War ended. Saw it. No. First of all, as far as the end game, anybody ever saw end game? So here's what I will tell you. So I saw end game um, twice. And in both theaters, there were people in there sobbing. Like legit crying. Because the thing about end game is that people have been waiting 10 years for this type of movie. Ten years. Where like, everybody dies. Uh, I mean, where everybody pretty much died in the last one, technically. But people have been waiting ten years. And it was just a great... It gave you closure. Because, you know, it's really hard to end things. When you think about movies and you think about, like, sequels and stuff like that. Or you think about, like... Think about TV shows and think about, like, how they ended. Like, not a lot of TV shows really ended good. For example, Martin. We kind of erased the last season in our head, right? When he closed them, he turned the light off. That whole season, remember him and Gina went in the same room. Gina was gone for like yeah, twelve crazy. episodes. That was crazy. Yeah, it's hard to close things out, you know. And so, Avengers Endgame, people have been rocking with all these movies. You got to understand for ten years, bro, ten years. So the actors are not going to play these roles again. All this stuff. I mean, it's the last movie, regardless. I'm not going to give it away right now because it's still fresh, but. It was definitely emotional. Like, people were definitely in there, like, crying, like, holding each other. Like, you thought you were seeing some, like, Romeo and Juliet type film or some drama film. No, nah, man, it was really, like, people, it was it was an emotional wave that was coming over. So, but the movie was definitely great. If you're a fan of the Marvel movies, it definitely gives you closure. You know, you're definitely going to feel satisfied, you know, but it is a solid three hours. Do not see that movie past 9 p.m. Solid three hours. When I tell you solid... Like I looked, like I looked at the clock. Like it, like I saw a seven o'clock movie. We walked out at ten. Like it started at seven o one. We walked out at ten. Ten like, thirty. Like you, no, no. Ten o one is when the, the credits start rolling. Like it's a, it's a three hour movie. Mm. Like straight up. So make sure you see that movie. Don't go hanging out with your friends. Don't go get drunk. None of that stuff. Like make sure you see that movie before seven o'clock. Don't see, don't see that movie later than seven. Because otherwise, you're going to be in that boy knocked out. I don't care how good it is. Because that movie is three strong hours. But it needs to be. Because it took them 10 years to make a movie like that. You know what I mean? So they can explain everything. Um, So they can explain everything. And also, they literally took a piece from all of the movies. I mean, it's been over like 25 movies. So they literally took a piece from everything. And mind you, I'm a comic book geek. And I'm somebody who watch all the films, right? Even I had to walk out of there and Google some stuff. Like, I had to walk out of there and be like, yo, what was that? Like, it was some random stuff that was in there that I had to revive my memory on. So, you really got to watch that movie. You really got to know what's going on. You really got to pay attention. Make sure you see Captain Marvel, the movie that's already out now. Make sure you see that because that's not a filler. That movie has some importance into what's going on right now. But Endgame, yeah, thumbs up with that. Pretty dope.